Hello and welcome to Tech. I'm Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about the composite model version 2.0. It's really a game changer in the business intelligence world and it has done by the power of BI. If you're new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. This video is only about the theoretical. If you want to go to practical, just check out the link given on below video description here. This is a sample of the composite model and it has, for example, the data set live connected from the Power BI service. And then you are adding a local data set from there using an Excel file or a SQL file or as well as a local text file on that. You can combine everything together and make a new report out of it. That's a new thing here. What the expert review on this new composite model 2 version, they are named as it is, but actually the Power BI has released its name as Direct Query for Power BI Datasets and Azure Analysis Services, which is in preview. So they have given this much of long name here and it's the latest update on that. So they have given the name as Composite Model 2.0. And what the suggested is Power BI sets a new milestone in business intelligence. And what the Alberto Ferrari suggested had this to say about this feature, we got used to monthly updates with Power BI, but not all the months are the same. Guys, the December 2020 version of Power BI is an historical milestone in the development of business intelligence. Historical milestone. I am not saying this lightly. I am old enough to have seen many things happen in the business intelligence world. Some were nice, some were very cool. This is neither nice or cool. This is huge. Finally, can seal the marriage between self-service and corporate BI. So it's a big game changer. So here in this video, we'll discuss a bit about it. We're not going to depth into the practical of it and how it behaves. We'll walk through all those things here. So let's get started on that. Initially, when you connect your Power BI desktop file to get the data from your Power BI data set from Power BI service, at the bottom of this page, you will get this option connected live to Power BI data set report name and this is the one. If you want to make changes, click on make changes to this model or else under the modeling tab, you have this option make changes to this model. You click on that, it will give you a warning message here. To make changes, you need a direct query connection as connecting to data set is a live connection. So if you click on that link, it will create a direct query connection to that data set. This PBX file has a live connection to your remote model. To make changes such as renaming column, adding data from multiple sources and more, you need direct query. To switch to your direct query connection, add a local model to the PBX. Keep in mind, this change is permanent. You cannot revert back to this one. To click on add a local model, when you use this feature, you will get a warning message here saying that when you add a second data source, information from one data source might be included in queries that are sent to other data sources. Only add another data source if you trust the owner and admin with the data. Do you want to build the model? Okay, click on that. So far, what are the features and scenarios you can try here? Uh, this feature is currently in preview. We are eager to collect as much as feedback as we can. So there are things here. Connecting to data from various sources, imports such as files, Power BI dataset, Azure Analysis Services. And then creating relationship between different data sources. You can create a different relationship between the data set, Power BI, Azure Analysis Service, and then the local files as well. Writing measures that use files from different data sources. Creating new columns for table from Power BI dataset of Azure Analysis Service. Creating visuals that use columns from different data sources. And you need to, you have to note the behavior of it. And here are a couple of things. If you refresh your data sources and there are errors with conflicting fields table name, Power BI will resolve the errors for you. To build reports on the Power BI service on a composite model that is based on another data set, all credentials will have to be set. On the refresh credential settings pane, for Azure Analysis Services source, the following errors will show even though the credentials have been set. So they are still working on as this is a confusing and incorrect. This is something we will take care of soon. So regarding the role level security rules will be applied on the source on which they are deployed, but will not be applied to any other data set in the model. So role level security defined in the report will not be applied to remote sources 
and low level security set on remote sources will not be applied on other data sources so it is applicable only to that specific data source so display folders kpis date tables role level security and translations will not be imported from the source in the preview build we plan to add support for these properties when making these features generally available you can still create display folders in the local model you may see some unexpected behavior when using a date hierarchy to resolve this issue use a date column instead of adding a date hierarchy to a visual you can switch to a date column by clicking on the down arrow in the field name and click on the name of that field instead of using date hierarchy the behavior will be addressed later in this preview you may see some less useful error messages when trying to use a features with a model that has a direct query connection to azure analysis services we plan to address them soon using all selected with the direct query sources resulting in incomplete result filter and relationship a filter that is applied from a data source to a table from another direct query sources can only be set on a single column this might be supported in future cross filtering two tables in a direct query sources by filtering them with a table outside of the source is a bad design and is not supported a filter can be only touch a table once applying the same filter to a table twice so one of more tables outside the direct query source is not supported during the preview the maximum length of the chain of the model is 3 extending further beyond the chain length of the 3 is currently not supported and will result in errors so we are considering increasing the maximum chain length in the future using third party tools this creates chaining flag can be set on a model to prevent a chain from being created or extended to set it look for the discrete composite model property on a model we have plans to add this functionality to data set setting in power bi service and there are some limitations here parameters for data base and server names are disabled there are plans to support parameters in the future defining role level security on tables from a remote source is not supported there are no plans to support this in the future as well so using the following sources as a direct resource is not supported SSAs we plan to support SSAs tabular models in the next major release of SQL Server support for SSAs multidimensional model is not planned SAP HANA is not supported SAP business variable is not supported using direct query on data set from my workspace is not supported this will be resolved shortly after public preview deleting connection to the remote sources that uses direct query is not supported we'll address this before the feature reaches general availability using power bi embedded with data set that include a direct query connection to a power bi data set or azure analysis services model is not yet supported we plan to support this as soon as possible format testing on column and measure from a remote source or not imported to the composite model we are looking for a feedback to prioritize this calculation group on remote sources are not supported with undefined query results Some queries may return wrong results when there is a relationship between calculated table and tables in a remote source. Creating calculated tables over a remote dataset is not supported, although it is not currently blocked in the interface. Sort by columns is not supported at this time. This will be added soon. Automatic page refresh is only supported for some scenarios depending on the data source type. You can find more information on API or documentation here. So what's coming? This is the first update of many additional features to come. Here is a sneak peek of what's coming. Settings for limiting who can use direct query for Power BI data set and Azure Analytics services in the Power BI service. More support for capabilities including parameter, display folder, KPIs, date tables and translations, integration with data lineage, data protection and deployment pipelines. So these are the things which is available on the composite model 2.0. and this how the things which is not available and there are few things which is going to come in future as well as already said this is a game changer in the business intelligence platform just go and try this how it actually works and don't forget to give your feedback in the ideas.pobi.com or on the community site with the link given on the description below if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button If you haven't joined our channel, you will get a lot of few updates on that. So just check out the join button on the below here. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.